What's up you guys? Welcome back to Naughty Styles. You guys have been asking us to show you some more affordable liveaboard yacht options. So today we're doing just that. looking around LA area and found this really interesting option listed with our friend Art. This is a Carver Voyager 45, built in 2001. The reason Rico and I would like to show this to you, this yacht is just a little bit bigger than the one we live on. If you haven't seen a tour of our boat, you can check it out right here. It is in a really good price range. You definitely cannot buy a house for that amount of money in Los Angeles. This one has some interesting features that we think would make a great liveaboard or a great starter yacht. Make sure you check out our Instagram. This is mine, this is Rico's. We post every day on Insta Story life updates. So let's check it out. on board. Wow, that's a big tender. Yeah, right? It's a 14 foot tender, which is pretty large for this size of a boat. Yeah, it's a 14 foot Novarania with a 60 Yamaha, uh -huh. um, which is massive. Come on. Want me to come around? Okay. Let's go. It's a pretty sizable lift as well, right? Yeah. Looks, uh, looks serious. <laughs> That's a great, great David system for sure. If you want to enjoy the islands like Catalina Island, great size tender. And it's right at the max um, of the size that you can take to the dinghy dock. Yeah, in Catalina Island in LA, that's the 14 feet is a cutoff um, where you can take the tender. So this is right there. So this would be great for taking this to the island. For sure. All right, before I step on and just see down there, there's a swim ladder mounted in the corner of the swim platform. And, right then, um, and then also, see a fuel fill right here in the back and then um, two more storage compartments um, right in the back of the swim platform as well. And it also has a shore water inlet so you can just plug in your water right into the boat. Uh, as we told you guys in one of our other videos, check it out right here if you haven't seen it. It's, uh, it's definitely very convenient if you're spending a lot of time on a boat and you don't want to be filling up your tank all the time. All the time. So as long as you're cautious of it and turn off the water and everything, it's a great feature to have. All right, coming into the cockpit, it's there nice size, something we don't have on our boat. We don't have a cockpit and Rico and I always say like, it is definitely nice to have. It's like dedicated area. We have a big custom swim step, which we enjoy, but this is also really great. So they have this removable seating area here. Obviously you can do whatever you want, however you want to set this up, which is nice. It's just removes and you can do whatever you want. So the engine access is right here. I'm going to show you guys later. Yep. Uh, right here, that looks like a little storage compartment. It's pretty deep, actually. There is a sunshade that can come in. See that pole that sticks out? So right here in the rod holders, there will be some stainless steel poles go in there, go all the way up on both sides. And then there's a center pole there as well. And it creates a really nice sunshade for the summer when um, it's just a little warmer and you want to be out of the sun. It's got to be nice to be able to do that, to, to just enjoy and being covered. All right, should we go forward? Yeah, let's okay. go forward. Definitely a bit on the narrow side. It is, is tall enough in the rails, but it's a little bit tight. This is a pilot house setup. So there is a door that's going to the interior helm. Mm -hmm. So if we keep going forward, we ended up in the bow. 
That's a good size bowl. <laughs> yeah, so they're cushions that normally come in here and um, they're stored away right now just mm -hmm. to protect them. But yeah, it's it's great size. I like how it kind of flares out, giving you a lot of room, right? Instead of just coming straight up, it kind of goes For like a 45 that. footer, it's a really wide, wide beamy bow, I yeah. think. That's, I guess, what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I noticed on both sides, we have large fender holders, like three on each side. So you can store all your fenders away when you leave the dock. Yep, let's show them what's it about. Got a windlass here, big anchor. Got a wet locker here with a wash down and a hose. So got our wet locker here, our anchor locker access right there with the chain and the road. Here's an overhead hatch for the, I assume the VIP. The forward stateroom. The forward stateroom. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's go back. Go back on the port side. Yeah, this feels a little bit better without having the door open. Without right? the door and the step, right? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go up to the flybridge. I'm gonna point out this has a real staircase, not a ladder. Big thing for me, as you guys know. So that checks off that box as well. Let's check it out. Welcome to the flybridge. This is cozy. It's got a good seating area. Good size. Yeah, it's really cozy. It's nice. So you've got your two home chairs here table for dining another settee right there and then we also have an ice maker mm -hmm. great thing to have on board and the sink wet bar area everything you need this enclosure was recently i guess redone um you can just open that up and have some fresh air and yeah, it works and there's a little area back there as well should we go check it out yeah it's kind of interesting so i got a weather door right ah. here to seal up the cockpit this is good for sundowners. It's just cute. Oh, this is great. Yeah, I like this. So imagine you're on an island somewhere, you're on Catalina Island, and you're just having your cocktails here. Beautiful, really nice. Or just here at the dock. <laughs> or just here at the dock, that's it's, true. It's, it's gorgeous. So true. Yeah, I would have, I would have cocktails here. Right, All Nice. Right. What have we got? Track vision, Florono up here. We've got a Furuno Raider unit right there. Have a KVH track version for satellite TV, speakers, lights, and Oops. all VHF antennas. Looks like tons of speakers everywhere. So what about the helm, Rico? Let's check out the helm. So we've got a large Furuno chart plotter, a secondary smaller one right here, autopilot right there, Volvo Penta monitors displays right here. Got a stereo right underneath, VHF, Speaker installed right there, our shift and throttle controls, the Volvo's right here, trim tab controls, wheel, then our manual gauges, which are right here above. Again, some uh, Volvo indicator lights, uh, VHF radio to port, and then our usual switches for lights and so on. I think one thing I would do, give it a little love to some of these areas, right? You can have this um, custom just redone. Exactly. And it's going to look a lot more modern and nice. Like you could see just the, all the black stuff that Kind yeah, just on the dashboard, like it's easily the, done. We have done this for some other boats too, and it just looks like brand new. Brand again. new, yeah. So that would definitely freshen up the look of this. And for sure. Obviously, if you want to add some new electronics and stuff, you can do that as well. Visibility is great. Um, visibility forward is pretty good. Backing in, it's also really cool because you have that weather door. You open it up, you can I, I can see from the helm seat all the way down to the transom. So backing into the slip is also not that big of a deal. Agreed. All right, let's check out the interior. Let's do it. Yeah, the staircase is pretty comfy. So we have a large sliding door. Nice mosquito screen. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I don't see these on the boat and it just amazes me. I'm like, why would you not have it? You got to have sure, it. It's right? such a simple thing, but it makes all the difference, especially in areas like Florida. Maybe not so much in LA, but still. All right, come on in. Cool. Immediately you could see the difference between our boat, right? The layout, the galley kind of splits to the side this way and it's all same level. On our boat, it being an aft cabin motor yacht, you kind of step down to go in a salon. So this is nice and open one level connected to the cockpit. The only thing that was raised is the helm area so that the pilot house area is raised, I guess, to create more room underneath so you have a little bit more headroom. Makes sense. We're gonna look at that later, but I have a feeling that would make a good home office. Right? 
I think so. All right, so what do we have in the salon? Show me around. Beautiful table, custom made, really pretty, good woodwork. That little, look at his little stools here. <laughs> Cute. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, so that's good little edit seating. Um, looks like very similar um, to what we have. This uh, kind of a lazy boy. Recliners. Recliners, <laughs> thank you. Recliners, yeah, exactly. So that's a good size couch. It's nice and deep. Oh, it's comfy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. Of course, you can upgrade it and this is easily removable. You can put whatever you want here. You can put a sleeper sofa as well. So you have definitely have option here. Get some storage spaces here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good size TV. And then um, another two-seater on the other side, on the starboard side. Correct. And then you also have a kind of cute, a dedicated bar area here. If you like to entertain. Oh, there's a little oh, whoa. alcohol there. Yeah. <laughs> nice. You've little wet bar. Tiny little sink. Oh, very let cute. Me see. It's very little. Yeah. Someone has a dog, I think. Yeah, that's cute. Dog toys here. Yeah, so that's very cute. If you like to entertain, that kind of gives it that nice flair. Check out the helm. So we have two steps up and then one more step up. Okay. Oh, wow, he is actually, can you stand up? Yeah, that's a lot of headroom. Right? Pretty good, yeah. I would totally figure out a way of having a little table here and this would be like home office if I lived on this boat. Ed editing space? Yeah, <laughs> just it, maybe even like one of these foldable tables you uh -huh, can just store uh -huh. away. Wouldn't that be great? Look at this, yeah. very nice. Have a nice view all around, great space. And then here is the little side door we saw from the outside already from the exterior, which I think comes in pretty handy, uh, even just to create some cross breeze when it's like a warmer summer day, open the side, open the back, and you have some air flowing through. I know we would use it. We would open it all the all time. All the time, right? Yeah, especially here in LA for sure. Then um, a really comfortable looking captain's chair right here. And then you have your lower helm station. Of course, we have a sun protection on the windshield right now. So there's a black mesh on there. So you don't see clearly out right now, but um, that would be a decent visibility also for any kind of longer distance transfers or journeys. We are out of the weather, nice and warm down here. So we got repeaters from the upper helm station, um, a Furuno chart plotter right there. Got our switches for regular navigation right there. Our engine instruments, shift and throttle control, and our radar. That's it. And then we have a little monitor there for a aft-facing camera. Mm -hmm. Yep. I want to see the galley. Okay, check it out. Okay. Oh, one thing I just wanted to point out also, Carver built different sizes of Voyager yachts. The mm -hmm. 45, as far as I know, is the smallest one of the series. Then there's also a 53, there's a 56, the newer one, there's a 57, the little bit older one. So there are similar layout carvers out there which would make great motor yachts even in a bigger size. Yeah, the 57, we're gonna try to bring to the channel, you guys. There's a few that we wanna show you. Um, so we're working on that, because I think that's a really generous size liveaboard, oh, for yeah. sure. Good, yeah. good option. All right, so the galley is um, kind of a similar to ours. I, I can't decide if it's the same size or smaller, or what do you well, think? I think our sinks are a little bit bigger. Yeah, I think our sink is a little bit larger. It's got a three, um, three burner cooktop. Same as we have. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think it's the same brand. Yeah. We've got a, um, it's got a fridge here, freezer and fridge. Yeah. Unit. We have some space down here for all the stuff and drawers. Oh, deep sized drawers mm -hmm. as well. I'm not sure what this is. I know what this is. Oh, okay. That's where the switch panel is for all the. AC power, all the DC power, um, everything easily accessible and well labeled. So you don't need your reading glasses actually reading these labels. <laughs> Do you think this floor was redone? I don't know. It looks good. Could be original. Yeah, it looks really, looks really nice. Also have space here as well. You've got a microwave here, mm -hmm. which if you want to put in um, an oven, you could do as well. We obviously have a dishwasher on, on ours, so I'm not sure what you could do, but there's a little bit of a up there are storage here too. Oh, there's more storage. Okay, yeah. I didn't even see mm -hmm. that. You can definitely make it work, for sure. And if you're gonna use it as a weekend boat, perfect. Don't need more than that. W one little thing I noticed is when you're standing in the galley, you can communicate with anyone down here on this level. All the way around. So long, cockpit, helm station, like everything is open and easily 
accessible. Yeah, like, you can uh, hear you, each you other, you everything. can see each other. It's very true. Yeah, and if you're at the helm, you can also see everybody, which is also really, it's a, it's a nice peace of mind when you have guests on board. Or well, if you do some overnights, you know, you um, don't need to really necessarily sit at the helm the entire time. You can go into the galley, make a sandwich. I still can look forward, see everything, see all the boat traffic. Pretty, pretty well done. Very true. Go down below, see the staterooms. Let's do it. All right. Come on down. We're going to go forward first. So this is our forward cabin. Looks like a VIP, but on this boat, it's kind of interesting. You kind of can decide. I almost think they're really equal. That's what I'm saying. Let's, uh, let's wait until we show you the second one, but you guys can decide. But I think technically this is a VIP. Yeah. So we have a good size hanging locker. Goes mm -hmm. all the way in there. I wanted to see. So we've got a portholes. Just so mm -hmm. you see, you can have a little bit more light in here. They're covered so we can film. Yeah, the bed is, you know, almost almost a, a walk around. You guys are always asking to address the issue of like making the bed. It is kind of a, a big deal sometimes. You can't get to it. This would be pretty easy to make the bed. Not yeah. bad at all. Okay, it has an ensuite, which also serves as a day head. Hello. So this is for the guests and this is for the guests who are staying overnight. So come on in. Do we have space together? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is a wet head. This is why I think this is a VIP. They actually removed the shower, which was here, because I guess they were not using it this way. It could be easily put back. Obviously, it's got the drain and everything is still ready for it. Another way of doing it, you could put the shower head here so you can just use it whenever you need to. Seems like they just used it as just a couple, so they didn't need to. This was just a second bathroom. Oh. So we have some storage in here. We have storage down there. Good amount of, ample amount of space. I think it's all right. Oh, and uh, in case you guys are wondering how that works with a wet head, there is a um, curtain that would go right here. You can see the tracks. Yep. Yeah, so we have the same thing, our uh, master. So yeah, this would be closed in and you can shower here. Okay. All right, keep going. Turn around and then also ATV. One thing I like about this boat here, it does have a dedicated space for a washer and dryer. So that's kind of cool. On our boat, it's a little tricky. It's underneath the stairs. This is cool. Looks like someone likes their TVs. There's a big, big flat screen here. That's going to call for like rainy movie days in bed. True. So we have storage areas here, mm -hmm. kind of a sliders right here. That's a big storage. Yeah, and it's um, it's got a hanging locker, so it's kind of a different the way that they mm -hmm. resolve this. So there's space here. This goes pretty deep. I think this was a space for the old TV maybe back in the days. Yeah, kind think, of a weird I think, space. I think, I think you're onto something there. But yeah. I think so, right? So there's that. And then also one more right here, same size. Mm -hmm. All right. Got your nightstand spaces. There's also storage here. So it's a pretty deep bed. It looks like a full size, queen size bed. And also two portholes. So you can have some ventilation and some fresh, fresh air coming in. So also we have another hanging locker here. So there are technically three. Mm -hmm. That's, that's not bad. And it's fully walk around, semi walk around. Semi, but when you sit here, you have, you have a good amount of headroom. So. Mm -hmm. I think it works. It's definitely cozy, but it's not bad. Okay, and here we have a proper ensuite. Oh, got it. Yeah. So we actually have a shower here. Nice walk in. Yeah, good size. Look. There we go. You guys missed me in the showers? I'm back. <laughs> no, it's good. It's got a bench here, so there's actually a lot of room. So we have storage underneath here. And storage here as well. Just respect to people's privacy, but you guys can see that there's plenty of storage here. There's even that medicine cabinets yep. on the side. Yeah, this is uh, works. He head right there. Yeah, it works for sure. Very functional uh, head for sure. Yeah, good headroom. I'm 5'7", so it's not bad. I mean, not maybe great for someone who's 6'5", but for anybody who is 6'1", it would definitely work quite well. Mm -hmm. What do we have left? Engine room. Engine room. All right, that's Rico's department. It's kind of cute, this little mm -hmm. display area. And go all the way aft. Of course, it also has air conditioning, heat, all the usuals. It's that, you know, you guys are always wondering. So yes, it has all of those luxuries <laughs> that we used to. Including a generator. Correct. Okay, let's see, Rico's gonna do this. 
All right. Yeah, that's a good size opening. It is. Yeah. Let's turn the lights on. You wouldn't mind this kind of opening, huh? It's not bad. This is actually yeah. pretty comfy. Considering yeah. what you have to deal with on oh, yeah, our boat. lights on. Yeah. Okay. You ready for this? Yeah, absolutely. All right, go for it. Fantastic. There we go. This ladder is removable to give you better access to the generator. It's an Onan generator. It's a 13.5 kW. So that's going to power all your AC or heat if you um, out on the island or out on the water and not connected to shore power. Access to our rudder posts, our rudder linkage right there. Then there is a Raycore filter mounted for the generator and our exhausts all the way in the back over there. Then we have two good size fuel tanks, aluminum fuel tanks, um, right here where you enter the engine room. And then going forward, that's what we do right now. We have two Volvo diesel, each has 480 horsepower. So that boat is actually quite quick. The regular fast cruising speed is around 20 knots, the top end at around 24 knots, which um, that gets you over to the island quite quick. Got a battery charger mounted right there. Some more 12 volt or 24 volt switches right here for the bilge pumps some fuses what else do we got I have a fire suppression system mounted midship forward right there engine start batteries right here each engine obviously its own sea strainer seacox easily accessible as well and the battery charger there you go there you have it this completes our tour of Carver Voyager 45. I hope you guys found it interesting. This is a Flybridge motor yacht. We have an aft cabin motor yacht. If you guys are interested in learning different types of power boats, check out our video right here. Keep in mind, this boat is 20 years old. So of course it's gonna have some things that are outdated, that needs to be updated, changed, completely normal. A lot of you also talk about depreciation in boats. It is not the same as owning a 10 year old car. Something to consider, once you get past the 10 year mark, the boats do stay pretty stable, kind of like a plane. Especially especially if you take care of it. So it's not the same as owning a 10 year old car. Well, one thing I always find really cool about the Voyager series from Carver is that they have a very timeless design. The windows are already rounded, so it doesn't look like the old boxy square look like, you know, in the 80s and in the 90s. So this boat still flies perfectly fine in 2021 right now. And it doesn't stand out like it looks like an old boat. I agree. Please take a second to like, subscribe, comment, and share. It makes a huge difference and helps our channel grow. We're getting so close to 100,000 subscribers. We are so grateful to all of you. Every little like matters. So we really, really appreciate it. And if you guys are interested in learning more about liveaboard lifestyle, check out our Patreon page. Here you actually see really well what I, what I was talking about in that angle. It looks super timeless from here. Wanna do snippy snip? Yeah, cool. cool. All right. So should we start here and walk back? That's kind of cool. We never do that. Yeah. This yacht just a little bit larger than the boat. This yacht. So we think this would make. So we think this would be it. If you were, if you want to enjoy the. It, come on. So I, I see like there's a track here, right? <laughs> Go. What is this? It like. This isn't a, a puppet show, just say it. Come on, <laughs> puppet show. It's not a puppet show. Come on. You, go, you, go. It's That's good. it. <laughs> Did it again? Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's weird. I'll take this thing off. I think it's too heavy. So you can put a sleeping so sleep, sleep, sleeper sofa as well. Where you going? Oh. Where you going? What's going on? Sorry. <laughs> you just trip and fall. And then also ATV. ATV. Not ATV. ATV. ATV yeah. has TV. wheels. TV. <laughs> oh, and then I noticed that they are uh, on. <laughs> <laughs> and um, one of our, and actually in our 
um, easily accessible wow. space for um, 